Your news across Florida now. The George Zimmerman murder trial may be over, but another legal battle could be on the way. At the center of the issue, just who should pay for the former defendant's legal fees? Greg Warmonth has the details. The state of Florida could be on the hook for two to three hundred thousand dollars, and that's not including what Mark O'Mara is owed. And let's not forget, I would like to get paid. I'm not getting paid for any of this cost money, but I would hope that there is some money available in the future to take care of all the what? What are we at? Two million dollars this case has cost? O'Mara says the money for cost incurred to defend his client should be paid back. We're still tallying up the figures, but it's going to be about two or three hundred thousand dollars in cost money. That A lot of that's for experts. You know, we had a lot of experts on the voice issue. Of course, some other experts in trial. O'Mara says there are case law limits on how much he can be reimbursed. He says he'd be surprised if he gets $60,000 of it. As for that legal fund? I just think it's patently unfair that the state, by overcharging a case that they could not prove at trial, gets to cost either Mr. Zimmerman or me or the donors um, a whole bunch of money, and they're not responsible for it. And meanwhile, Zimmerman's wife pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge of perjury today. Shelly Zimmerman will be placed on probation for one year. She will also be required to file a letter of apology to the judge. It's alleged that she lied when she told a judge during a bail hearing that the family was poor. Prosecutors believe that the family had about $135,000 at that time.